Welcome everybody to the world of unboxing reviews and tutorials. My name is Franco Amian and today we're going to review my camera rig for full handheld filmmaking. I'm gonna show you my rig, I'm gonna explain my rationale, why I built this rig, and also share my real-world experience using this rig. Okay, to start, what is a camera rig? A camera rig is any piece of equipment used to add a special feature or to enhance the functionality of your camera, such as creating stability, adding a lens filter, or helping you capture that impossibly challenging shot. So in other words, you are customizing your camera into a specific purpose. The purpose of my camera rig is to shoot any kind of shots in any given situations. This means that I should be able to shoot static and moving shots spontaneously. I should be able to capture sound on the go and record a high quality audio in any event. This rig must be self-sufficient. I should be able to get a decent footage or a stabilized footage without using any accessories or equipment such as tripod or gimbal. The rig must be comfortable and versatile on taking any shots with different level and angles. To those who don't know me, I was a corporate filmmaker before I turned into a run and gun filmmaker. I'm talking about the real run and gun documentary wherein you don't have control over your environment. You just need to shoot as fast as you can with the little time you have. In the corporate world, I shoot executives. Of course, I shoot VIP people like CEOs. But the good thing about that, even if it's very critical, I have more time to prepare. The environment is comfortable and I have time to rehearse and I have people that are helping me. Shooting a high profile person on the go is a different kind of piece because you need to run run and run. You should be able to be ready to face the scorching heat of the sun and of course the big crowd. Let's build my rig now. The first one is we're going to attach the half-baked cage from my rig. It has a quick-release manfrotto. It will be easier to unmount it and mount it on my gimbal.
is my Canon Gunnery. So, yeah, so the first position is this. actually surprised on how stable this is. It's similar to when I'm using a tripod or a steadicam for short movement if you want a moving or tracking shot. The rationale here is avoid having a direct contact on your camera because it will introduce shake which is not pleasant to the eyes. You have a wider grip. The, the movement is more finesse. It's very stable. My recommendation to you guys is to build your own universal camera cage. Because every year there's a new camera. And if you're gonna buy a new cage every year, it will cost you a lot of money. It's more efficient because every time you build a rig, there's a learning curve. But if you have a one camera rig that you are used to and you're just going to replace or upgrade your camera from every now and then, it's easier. I'm telling you guys, when I first used this, the first few hours is really a learning curve. And I think it will take me a while before I will get used to this full handheld rig. And why do you need to build a rig? Of course, you want to be perceived as professional. You don't want to be called by someone and say, can you take a picture of me? Because that happened to me many times when I was starting. They thought I was uh, taking a picture, but I'm taking a video. So you want to be perceived as professional. You want people to take you seriously. And of course, it's for you. You want to feel good, look good. You want to have a good ergonomics to have all the accessories at your fingertips because you want to have control. Why am I using a monitor? I'm using a monitor because I want my focus and my exposure to be spot on. And I want to be able to shoot at any angle or any levels because as you can see, this DSLR is not built for filmmaking because it has a fixed screen and it's very small. If you are really serious in your filmmaking, you need to have a bigger monitor. Otherwise, when you film and you project it in a bigger screen later on, you will find a lot of unnecessary things that you can see in your footage. I attach this longer top handle because I want to be able to change hand position as fast as I can. As I mentioned, I don't have time to, to adjust, to move this. It's easier to change hand position than to adjust your handle. I don't want to customize my rig during the shoot. I want it to be ready in any given situation. And I also have dual audio system. I can cut the volume if I wanted to and I can amplify it or I can have a hot signal from my mic itself so that I don't need to up the volume of my preamp in the camera. Because the preamp of DSLRs are not good. Right? It will introduce a lot of noise if you're going to put that up. But if you have a good mic like this, Road mic wherein you can increase the sensitivity of the mic. It's better. It's gonna be better. Plus, you can also cut the, the signal if you wanted to by just uh, rotating this or twisting the knob. And also, this wireless system from Saramonic is very compact. As you can see, I'm just clipping it on the side. So one of the advantage of this mixer is it has three old shoes and you can also increase the sensitivity of the mic volume. I can control everything with this rig. I have multiple grip. There's also a cons and there are a lot of things that needs to be improved. One of those is when taking longer speaking engagement, I think I need to add a shoulder rig so that I can change the settings in my camera without introducing any shake. Because the problem with a handheld gear is whenever you change your camera controls, since the DSLR and mirrorless are designed to be in front of you and most of the buttons are on your right side. It's very impossible for you not to introduce any shake because you need to use your other hand. When you take off your hand, the rig is no longer balanced. So that's one of the problems. When you're going to take longer speaking engagement, it will be uncomfortable to hold the camera. Though I can 
put it on my shoulder but it's not as stable as my tripod. Since I'm using a top handle and not just an ordinary top handle, a longer one, sometimes when I'm taking a, a reveal shot, because it's longer, it's hard to take a shot because it sometimes bumps the foreground. So that's the problem. And I've also tried to shoot inside the car the top handle is hitting the ceiling. So those are the cons of my current rig. I'm also thinking of adding a wireless follow focus and trigger because as much as possible, I want all the controls at my fingertips because whenever you move your hands and try to touch the, the buttons on your camera, it's gonna be difficult because you need to balance the rig with your one hand and most of the buttons is on the right side. Your face is on the side so you will need to get different kind of monitor mount to be able for you to move the monitor here. I want to be able to do this so that I, I can see the buttons and if I wanted to, I can put additional handles. But this is for another review. Again, I'm encouraging you to build your own universal camera cage or rig that you can use to any of your cameras. It will save you money there will be no learning curve or the learning curve is easier because you just need to learn the camera if ever you upgrade it and you have all the access at your fingertips and of course as a filmmaker you need to have your own style you want to look good with your own rig if you feel better i'm pretty sure your footage will, will also look good so yeah so i hope you learned something from this but that's all guys so see you soon